guys, I just want to make a quick video. And um, this video, I'm literally going off my mood right now because right now I'm feeling myself. I just want to say to everyone who doesn't know me, welcome. My name is Lani Good. I am an influencer, a brownie, you know, you know, a fun bitch, a senior graphic designer. So if you don't know me, then get to know. Follow me on my social media and all that shit, that good shit. And if this is the first time you enter my channel, then welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, then I fuck with you heavy. I fuck with you heavy. I love you. Yeah, so my video is basically... Mm, it's kind of how to get over your ex. I feel like I'm an expert at this. Not because I've, I've had to get over a lot of exes. Don't get it twisted. Um, I've had to get over two major heartbreaks. So I'm just going to get into it. So how to get over an ex. I just want to say if anyone out there is struggling with heartbreak. Right now. If anyone out there is struggling with heartbreak. You're not going to get over somebody. By watching their moves. So the first thing you need to do is not to see them. Out of sight, out of mind. So you need to get rid of all social media, messages, everything. You need to burn everything down. You need to burn everything down. Full stop. Another thing I want to say is um, you're never going to get over somebody until you learn to love yourself. And that sounds a bit crazy, but sometimes when you're in a relationship, when you feel rejected by the other person and the other because there's different types of heartbreak if somebody for instance passes away and you they they they, they die and that's why you're not with them you're heartbroken because you can't be with them but they didn't reject you you can still you can still go through life thinking that that love was pure that love was beautiful when it's a rejection it's different so your self-esteem your self-esteem will go lower um, and the thing is, you will never ever feel or get over that person until you rebuild your self-esteem. And you need to remember that you are either that guy or you are a bad fucking bitch. You are a bad bitch. Baddest bitch. And the fact that that person couldn't see your worth, like they're stupid, what the fuck? Like this, they are stupid. S simple plumb back to the period. Not everybody has common sense. Not everyone's brain cells is correct. So if someone can't value you as a person, then they're dumb. And the, 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 the time you wasted, like crying over them or bugging over them, was a waste of time and you're, you, you yourself are bugging. Don't get me wrong, sometimes you can fall in love to a point where it's like, oh my God, this love is so pure. I love this person, they're my soulmate. But if they leave you, then they're not your soulmate and it was never real. Like, let's just be honest. I just think that sometimes you need to focus on what you have in your life and the glass being half full and not half empty. And I just also think like you you need to invest in you, your dreams, your aspirations, being that bitch, loving yourself, pampering yourself, and then nobody can ever make you feel worthless ever again. You know what I mean? You deserve love, you deserve to be obsessed with. People need to be obsessed with you because you are that bitch you are the person you know what i mean like people look at you like wow you are what someone's gonna reject you are they mad they're dumb they're bugging if you feel like there's a reason that person rejected you something you can't change you can make it better for yourself in your future life so because if, if you worry that's something that may affect future partners I'll give you an example. If the reason someone broke up with you is because you're fat, you've got put on weight, they're not attracted to you anymore, you make it your duty to either lose some of that weight or see yourself as a badass fat bitch. It's either or. If you, if somebody has broken up with you and um, let's just say it's because um, they think you're boring, like you make that boring work for you. You know what I mean? I just, I just think like sometimes as humans we seek validation in other people and it's just bullshit. And sometimes, especially when we put the other person on a pedestal and the person's better than us because maybe the person is better looking than us. Maybe the other person is more popping than us, more popular than us. Um, people, like, do you know what I mean? 
richer, richer, more successful. Sometimes you can feel like you're inferior, but bitch, what do you bring to the table? Like what? No one can ever make me feel like I'm a piece of shit ever again. I've been there. Like I know what I bring to the table. I've got a good career. I'm a good woman. I'm an honest woman. I'll never cheat on my babes. And I scrub up well. And I know how to I know how to lay down the bedroom. If someone wants to break up with you, then that's their loss. Like Like juices motherfucker. These two nails are completely finished. Look at that. Anyway, I just wanted to give you a bit of motivational. I know my mo my motivation isn't like other people's motivation, but real talk, like s sometimes we let people break our hearts because we put them on a pedestal and we feel like, why am I not good enough to be with you? Why am I not good enough to be with you? You are good enough to be with that person. But the things that that person doesn't like, if you also recognize them as problems, you, you should change them. If you are too fat, lose weight. If you smell, sort it out. If you're not funny and you're not fun, be funny and be fun. But when you sort all that stuff out, when that person comes back, rolls back and is like, yo, you better tell them to fuck off. They better piss off. What? They didn't want you when you were down, they want you when you're up. It doesn't work like that. It don't work like that, boo. You need to ride through it. If someone really loves you, they'll ride through it. They'll be with you on the, down, on the downs. When you're up. It's all gravy, innit? That's what I'm gonna say. That's my motivational talk from Auntie Lani. Okay, guys. I'll see you later. Mwah.